people were not spaced out around the room as much as I thought they were. They liked to still keep their spots, <laughs> but they were still sufficiently um, far from each other that it was safe. There's lots of sprays around and everything. So just remember, when you do come back, if you do come back, bring your own mat and towel. All right, bring it in. Stand back up. Bring the arms back out. Left leg out. But it looks like they'll probably put on a few more Pilates classes there now because there's quite a few people on the wait list already for the next week um, of classes. So... I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know whenever and whatever is going on. A few more. Hold this one up. Bend on in. Hands onto the hips and then lift higher. But it's crazy what's happening here in Victoria, isn't it? Buggers of people that aren't doing the right thing, hey? You see it. You see it at the shops. I mean, I was trying to get a parking spot on Monday to get to work. And it was full. And people are crazy running to get parking spots. Bring it on in. Straighten it out. Shake it out a little bit. And it's like, you know, those people aren't going there to work. They're going to shop. All right. So we're going to take our arms out again. Right leg to the back of the room. Nice and straight. So you're not going to be leading your chest hip forward. We're keeping upright. A few more. Hands onto the waist. Take the leg back. Bend on in. And then lift up more. So you're now working into the glutes. We've worked our quad. Worked our side and our hips. Now it's in the butt. And have a feel, it's tight as. <sighs> nice. This is when my daughter should tuck my bottom because they always call me jelly butt. <laughs> so at least now it's nice and hard. Four more. <sighs> All right, bring it down. Straighten the legs up. Arms out. Straight left leg back. Hopefully this is a wake-up call and people learn from it. Let's just hope it is a learn lesson and not the start of something more <laughs> ominous. Four more. All right, so hold this one up. Bring the hands onto the waist. Bend into your supporting leg, keeping the back leg straight and lift. So this is getting your balance component done as well as your leg workout. Bring the legs together, come on up, Ooh, shake it on out. So that's a really good tightening feel for all around here and around here as well. Alrighty, so let's just do a couple of balances and then we'll come down. Let's do our tree, uh, not our tree, our dancer. So hold on to the inside part. So you see I'm holding the inside part of my foot. Knees stay together, arm is lifted. And then we're going to tip through. Separate the toes of your supporting foot. Think length with your arm that's out in front. Now just rotate your body and then lengthen out and open the arm out. And see how I taught, taught, turned my foot, the, leg, the left leg? That's what you want to do to keep yourself in the right positioning. Two more. And bring it on in, bring the arms down, hold on to the inside part of your left foot now, arm elevates you, and then go for length forwards. Stretch out through your arm, relax through your shoulders, breathing nice and deep. Now we're moving. Take it out to the side. 
Lengthening out. Four deep breaths more. And bring it on in. Bring the arms down. And let's go for just our tree pose and then we will come down. I've been having trouble with my flight refund for not my big international trip, thanks to heart that I lift or just the trip that's from uh, Wyatt Hill to Galapagos return. She wanted to relax because that was booked independently. That wasn't booked through an agent. And they've given our travel vouchers for Anna and Alba, but they haven't given it to Ramiro and I. And so every time I'm getting in touch with them, they're like, yes, be patient, be patient. And so then this morning I received two new vouchers and they're the same voucher number for Anna and Alba's, the same that they had. So, of course, it's not valid. I don't know what's going on in their office over there. Two more breaths. Bring the arms down. I'll tell you, from now on, when I'm booking a trip, it will be very last minute, that's for sure. I'm sure most of you out there feel the same, right? You can't plan now. It's just so bizarre. And I always planned things like 10 months in advance, as soon as I could buy flights, really just for something to look forward to. I'm sure there's other people out there like that, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. We would have been on Easter Island right now. That's all right, I'm happy to be here. Just uh, situation's always interesting. Two more. So just generally, uh, gently bring the arms down, release that foot. I'm going to make our way down. I'm going to bring the screen down, but I'm also going to turn that light off. Because I don't think we need it. Oopsie. So coming down onto the mat, onto your back to start with today, please. And we've got our legs. Oh, what's this? Some sort of cooking, I'm sure that's come onto my pants. Feet together, toes pointed up, legs as straight as possible, and we're going into some lower belly. So you want to think about when you're breathing out, stomach is moving down. In through the nose and out through the mouth. So no, it's not some mark on your screen, it's definitely my marked pants. Each position, eight to ten breaths. Let's change position now. So keeping the legs straight as possible on the vertical, flex your feet. Hopefully you guys have had a long weekend. I mean a nice weekend, <laughs> a long weekend. I was going to say it feels like a long time since I've done the stream. I did it last night, but it felt like a long time just missing the Monday morning. But it's definitely nice to get back into the gym. But a very, very different feel there, just having such fewer people. And then open your legs out to about 30 centimetres and keeping them straight up with the flex foot. There was nobody there that had done my um, live streaming. So a lot of them had not done classes for a long time. And so they're like, can you go easy on us? And I was like, no, I can't. It's not my style to go easy on you. They were right about it. They were good. It was nice to be there. So remember, as you're breathing out, tummy moves down. This is all about that lower belly. This is a bit easier than when we start to angle our leg down. Now pointed toe, yeah? So, so pointed toe, feet are about hip width distance. Uh, I mean, a little bit, yeah, about hip width distance actually. It's about 30 centimeters. Is that right? Keep it going, a few more. Now we're going to angle the hip a little bit larger. So we're keeping our legs as straight as possible. We're keeping the toes pointed and we're keeping the separation here at the leg. Are you tempted to go back to the gym, Mori, or are you happy to just keep yourself safe at 
home. Flex the feet now. So we're keeping the separation. We're keeping the angle. We're keeping now the tummy moving down as you're breathing out, putting the weight onto that back. Two more breaths and then we're going to zip the legs up. Still keeping the flexed foot. Still keeping the angle. Let's do it. Zip the legs up. So now they're together. Doesn't feel easier today doing it at the start. Feels challenging. Last breath here and then we're going to just point the toes to finish us strong. Two more breaths. Oh, it's pain, isn't it? Okay, bend the legs down, feet pointed up, chin tucks into chest, rise up. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. So you should see your tummy moving down as you're lifting up. Do a few more. So come up as you exhale and then come back just halfway and then go again. So remember you can feel that mostly in the upper belly area, right? Lower belly, we've just done it with those leg angling and opening or close. Keep strong, a few more. So a little one's coming your way, come up, centimetre back. I feel that burn already, I hope you guys do too. We're going to hold this one up, okay? Then bring your arms forward. You might want to move your feet away if they're in too close so that you can roll up without your feet lifting. So breath in, peel. Sit tall at the top, burn baby, burn. That ab is getting a workout. Now bring yourself halfway down. I am now going to move my legs away just so I feel nice and stable. And then I'm going to do a run. Where am I running to? Where are you running to? Don't know yet. <laughs> what are you running from? This morning I was running from my my little one. She was a pain in the butt yesterday. Stop here. We were just trying to watch a movie. So they come down, and she just would not settle on her own. So all out through the movie, every 10, 15 minutes she was calling me in. Let's just bring one or both knees in, lift up, no break, into your plank. Anyway, so she wouldn't let me watch a movie <laughs> with my husband in peace. So I was pretty grumpy this morning, so I was very happy to go out and do my cardio and escape from her. Okay, so listen. One knee down. Then the other knee. Now both knees down. One knee down. Other knee. Then both knees. Remember which leg's starting, because we're going to do this later again. So keep the same leg doing the lead. Both knees now. One knee, then the other knee, then both knees. A few more sets like that, then we're gonna flip right back over onto our back again. Double it. Two more rounds. Double, double. And then last one, and then we're gonna flip over again. Ooh. And relax. 
over onto your back. It's not really relaxed. We're going to get into more lower abs, but definitely not the same ones as before. Straight legs up though. Inhale, bring one leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Change sides. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Now, if you want to make it harder, let's angle the legs down a little bit closer towards the mat. Do four more. Intense in that lower belly, right? Shouldn't be feeling it in your legs. If you are, you're going to pull attention to your gut more than in your lower body. Last one. Okay, bend the legs back down, ready for basic abdominal strengtheners. Chin tucks in, rise up. So upper belly again. So we're going to feel this second round more. Firstly, we've already done it. And secondly, the planks really cemented the workout. I'm so glad they're upstairs today. They'll be with us on Saturday if you're joining me on Saturday. So exhale, come up, then we're coming back just halfway, and then we rise again. Well, I was about to hear a cry, but it didn't start. Thank God. Feel the burn. Come up and then that centimetre back. Tiny little lift and lower. Love that feel in that upper area. It just feels like a real tension there. And you only get this feel with Pilates. No other exercise, no other workout really gives you that. Of course you get your burning in your arms or your legs when you're doing your pump. But this tension in the core, Pilates all the way. Two more. Hold this one up. Bring the arms forward. Remember, you can move your legs away a bit more if you need, or straight completely, even use an elbow. Roll. Sitting tall at the top, come back halfway. What the hell? Okay, Anna. Take the legs a bit wider. Bring the arms in narrower. And you can't do a run here with the legs out wide. You can, but I want you to do a bounce. Yeah? It's just better for the hips. Stronger in the belly too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stop there. Bring the legs in. Arms come out. And then just gently roll back. Super slow, and then when you do get down, no break, we're going to come to the plank and do that sequence for the legs. The other side, so the other leg leads by dropping down first. So take your breath in, one knee down. Other side, both legs. And again, one knee. Other side, double. Single, single, double. Classical aerobic single, single, double, hey? Keep us all. Do you want to do it? No, I'm just upset. What do you get from it? This is the This is the This is the Do No, I got this was one to come out here. This was It's burning, isn't it? Got one more round, and then you're gonna flip onto your back again. Ah, oh, good job. 
Let's roll on over. And we're going to do more attempts to be on a high elbow. Okay, so we're going to come down and can you do a little bit of upper and lower belly combined work. So we're going to just put on our tippy toes. Crunch up as your leg comes in. The key here, team, is to not put yourself too weighted into that toe of the leg that's down, okay? Oh, and something else you should know if you're planning on going back to the shopping town is what I used to always do is park the food court side but up on a higher level just to go up, pass through the cinema and quickly get up to the gym because I don't like the light sequence on Doncaster Road when you have to go back when I'm coming back home so I just thought it's easy to park there and then just, just walk around. But there's no way to get outdoors at the cinema anymore to get to the gym. So I had to go all the way through the shops and around. That's how I knew how many people were there on a Monday morning. Anyway, most of it. That's a little tortoise. Now instead of just coming straight up, I want you to twist to the leg that's coming in. Yeah, so from now on, I'm just going to park up in front of the gym instead. Probably less people up there than there was anyway because of less people allowed in the gym and less people in the cinemas. What is nice and rude or cute on this place and younger classic? Gracias, Alba. Do a few more. So these are attacking your obliques, and I'm going to attack the obliques even stronger soon. This is definitely upper and lower combined. All right, listen up. Stack your legs to one side, but they're not touching down. So they're off the mat. And then you're bringing them in. You're crunching up. And you're sort of crunching, twisting away from them. Now, as you get more comfortable, what you can do is start to extend it straighter. Do two more. All right, just gently bring the legs over to the other side. And then we're just doing a small crunch, keeping your legs in tight. Hey, Busca Salvi. Who's going to be a number and number of the hour? I'm going to be a head of the last one. No, say the memorial. I'll be telling you to tell you if not. Who? I'll be telling you to tell you if not. You're not saying the memorial. But I'll scribble your number E L I E. E L I E. So if you want more, extend it out now. We're nearly done with the ab sequence, team. We're just going to do one lot of planks more on our elbows after this. E L I. This was E. E. Where's to make no girl? Yeah, no. L E primero. This was the L. Okay, let's roll on over onto your elbows. Good job. Super strong. I know that abs are screaming at you now. Zip the legs together. Weight back in the heels. Hold it nice and still. Palms together, shoulders relaxed. Do something with your fingers. It makes you concentrate on something else. Oh, you can do this hard work. No, don't worry about that. Just glue your hands together. Push your forearms down all the way through to the fingertips. Two more breaths. Okay, knees down, sit on back, 
Okay, strong abs. Let me see how long we've been going for. We've done probably 25 minutes of, of abs, just pure abs. So good job. We're going to do a little bit of, I don't want to get into the back just yet. We'll get into a little bit of butt here. So we're going to be on our elbows and on our knees. So we'll get into a bit of glute work. Just make sure one knee comes in centered more, the leg goes away. Take a breath in and lift the leg up. We did do a short sequence yesterday in our glutes. That leg moves away from you, yeah? Still up on an angle there. Two more and then we're going to take the leg cross behind you. Let's do it. We've got such beautiful parks around here. We're very lucky, the kids particularly have great playgrounds. It's just been wonderful for them. They've got so much variety. Two more. Now we're going to touch down and then lift up. On Sunday mornings, we go to Ruffy Lake Park, Ruffy Park Lake, whatever it's called. And Anna practically walks the whole circuit. She's amazing. She'll only stop when she needs to have food and I'll put her in the pram that way. <laughs> but she's pretty good for a little two-year-old and I think she's a little two-year-old. Like literally, she feels little. All right, bend the leg, flex the foot, push the heel up. You might be feeling it in your supporting leg more, you might be feeling it in your lifting leg more. Two more. I feel it in my supporting leg more, if you're curious. Bring it on down. No break, take the other leg away, nice and straight, lifting up. So surprised Anna hasn't come down. I'm happily surprised. <laughs> and take the leg away, let's go. you go. Ooh. Two more. And we're going to keep the pointer toe but just touch down gently. Oh my gosh, yesterday we were in Aldi in the morning and there was this man there Nice enough, man. But every time Anna or Alba got too close, he was just like giving us very dirty looks. And then we were at the checkout and he happened to be in front of us with all his alcohol. He was buying quite a lot of alcohol. And he's like, social distancing. And so Ramiro, I'm like, Ramiro, move them away because I was in the queue behind. So I was like a little bit further away. So I'm like, you know, take them away. So I took them away. And then the man you know, finishes and we see him going into the tobacconist to buy all his uh, cigarettes. And I was like, curious, this full of alcohol, full of cigarettes, man. <laughs> but he's so scared of the little kids for the virus. Bend the knees and push the heel up. <sighs> My kids, I've been isolating them. I mean, he doesn't know that. But I really have been very cautious. But you get looked at like a bit of a criminal when you're with your kids. And they're like, why are they in the shops? It's like I'm just buying, <laughs> I'm just going to get some 
some things and I can't leave them by themselves. Well, I mean, yeah, Ramira could stay at home, but yeah, no. We're pretty careful. Four more. Ooh, burning, burning. Two more. I'm going to keep the theme of burning going. So come on to all fours and let's get the other leg away again. Flex the foot, inhale, lift and double toe tap. I had to go to the post office because I hadn't gotten my refund as well. So I went to the post office and literally there was a mother and son in there. And the son wasn't very old. He was probably, I don't know, I can't even guess his age because he was fully covered with the mask and he had a hat on and he had glasses on. But he was glaring at me like, how dare you bring the girls into the post office? new times, isn't it? This is the new normal. You're treated like a criminal for having children. Four more. Am I whinging enough today? Two more. Same thing to the diagonal out. Let's do it. Down, down, up. Now remember if your wrists are sore, onto your fists. I do remember why I took them out because that was the only outing they were going to get yesterday. We weren't going out in the afternoon, so I was like, you can come with me to do my whatever I have to do at the shops and at the post office. And I had to go to the bank as well because I needed to just get some cash from the ATM. And they like to do that, come with me for a little bit of an outing. Four more. All right, listen up, bring it in, lower it down, Ooh, straight to the other side, flex foot, straight leg double tap. So the leg's just going straight up and down, no diagonals just yet. To the diagonal, let's do it. Sienna. Okay. Despacio behind the Okay. It took us a near a saluda mori. Iron it. She wants to know what you're eating, Mori Ironit. She always, I'll tell you what, this is a future foodie in the making. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, talking about whatever animal or person, she wants to know what they're eating. And when I talk to her about her kinder next year, she's so excited because she can take her sandwich to school. And I'm like, there's a food in here. Two more. You know, sick is done. Straighten it out. And pick a food. And then come onto your knees. And we're just going to tip forward from your hips, and your feet will want to come off. And then bring your arms forward. Salute the for one more on it. Inhale forward, exhale and bring it back. Inhale forward. Cuando se vaya a saludar, se pueden criar. So you're drawing your shoulder blades together. No, no, la mesa. Okay, so keep this one back. Pulse the shoulder blades, pulse the elbows back, the yeah, shoulder blades closing. So, vas a chocar tu cabeza, la mesa, vas a sentir mucho dolor. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, straight legs, straight arms, and then lift them up. Maureen is a hot Anna. You said they're, they're eating breakfast. Just some from Yandos and just some noodles. And she's eating cheese. She says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got some queso, and some cheese, some capsicum, some peanuts, and some sultanas there. Yeah. Okay. Ramirez made a good soup, so they're going to have that soon. Two more. Yeah, easy, mommy. Bring the knees down. Tuck the toes under. Back, have a stretch into the down dog. Releasing out through your back. Go three down through the legs. Alright, so we're going to come on up. I'm just going to move the screen. Okay. Let's get into our back. 
Can you see? Hey, I like that huh? Abba, I'm actually just quite honest. Take our left arm out, yeah, right right knee up, out to the side. Crack, 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 and then if you can, take the foot and push it away. And looking back now, I think Alba was actually the perfect child up until Anna came along because of the jealousy, but she was perfect. Didn't do naughty things like a toddler does. Anna is a typical toddler. She's a beast. She's so naughty. Yes, and she's poo poo. And even she yeah. calls me a not her sister, she's poo now. She does. She just, when she gets angry at Alba, she's like, you're not your sister. I'm going to pick it up. And then she does the same to Ramiro. She's like, I'm not your father. That's how she says it. No, so it's your papa. No, 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 no. Very cute. Two more. Okay, bring it in. All right. And... Let's go into our aeroplane. We're going to step onto our left foot, take our arms out, and let's fly. But this aeroplane, we're going to now bring our arms up high, so it's your head that's steering. And come on out of that. So the straighter you keep your supporting leg, the more that you're going to um, get a stretch benefit. Arms out. Fly to the other side. Nice pointed toe. Arms come back. Supporting leg as straight as possible. And come on out of that one as well. And we'll do our tree pose and then we'll get a few neck stretches in. Right side, dig the heel in, open the knee out, racing in through the belly, shoulders always, drop them down. You can have your hands in your heart, your third eye, or we lift. So you should feel like you've got more balance now than you did at the start. And if that is the case, take your eyelids up. See you guys on Saturday. If not, I'll see you back here next um, Tuesday morning. Okay, bye.